In these troubled times, the voice that commands is the voice of the gun. And it's strange to reflect that civilization can only be saved by weapons that destroy. Once upon a time, the battering ram was a terrible bit of frightfulness. The butter that was used to batter was actually a ram's head, shaped like the horn god, Baal. Sometimes the ram was enclosed in a huge movable tower. It was the first tank, and the diagram shows how the pretty thing worked. The Roman catapult was a neat job too. It was built on the weight and pivot principle, and if history is to be believed, those early Romans had few other principles. It fired a lump of rock, and a direct hit could be very uncomfortable. Sometimes the arm launched an arrow into the air. The Greeks also had a word for it, but their catapult launched nine arrows at once, the first machine gun. The Romans replied with a sort of super crossbow, which they used when they were very cross. And with the invention of gunpowder came the cannon, or crackies, and here's one of the first. Bombards fired cannonballs of stone and masons were able to make munitions on the spot. There, there, don't cry, Daddy will buy you another one. They had secret weapons even in those days. But as every secret came out, a new secret weapon was always ready to take its place. And what secrets some of them were. The first field gun was used at the siege of Roxburgh Castle in 1459. About the same time appeared the first crude handgun. It was fired from a rest. Thank you. When the casting of cannons became fashionable, this masterpiece caused a sensation. As it was in the beginning, six centuries ago, is a far cry from what it is today. The voice of the gun cries for deliverance. For